Hey, welcome to another Freestyle Libre video. This week I have the Libre sensor in my chest. I will show you where exactly I've placed my sensor and what exactly you can expect when you decide to try this new site. Let's go! My name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you on your diabetes journey. This is Type 1 Talks. If you've seen my previous videos, you probably know that I started trying various alternative sites for Freestyle Libre Sensor. Last time I tested thigh and today we will look at chest. If you want me to try out some other spots that you either like or you were afraid to try, write them in the comments below and I will test them in the coming weeks and share the results with you on this channel. But now let's talk about the chest. As you know, for each location I focus on four key attributes and these are placement, accuracy, durability and comfort. These are really the most key attributes for us type 1 and type 2 diabetics who are using this sensor. Each tested category will receive rating from 1 to 10 and you should watch all the way to the end of this video where I will show a comparison of the final result for the chest as compared to the thigh and upper arm. Category number 1 is placement. I have the sensor 2 to 3 inches or 6 to 8 centimeters from my armpit and about 2 inches or 6 centimeters from my collarbone. But the range where you can place the sensor on your chest is quite big. So try it out and see which spot is the best for you. This is the area where I would be generally comfortable inserting the sensor. I tested the spots in this range and I didn't have any issues with them from the placement perspective. Of course, this might not work for everyone and I can imagine ladies need to consider bra straps and the breast sizes to see which spot exactly works for them. Obviously, I don't have much experience with that, but please comment below if you have more insights into, into the ladies' topics. Do not put the sensor directly in your chest muscle or too close to the collarbone because that could be a bit painful. I find it super easy to apply the sensor to your chest and remove it. It is easily reachable and almost as good as the thigh from the application and removal perspective. And that's why I give chest 9 out of 10 points for the placement. Before we talk about accuracy of the readings from chest, Please comment below if you ever tried chest and how did you like it. Share your experience with the community. Thank you. Category number two is accuracy, aka how much we can rely on the readings. Unfortunately, there has been no official study done over the chest placement of the sensor and how accurate it is, and so I can only share my personal experience. I found the sensor readings from the chest very accurate and I didn't have any big differences between the chest readings and my glucometer readings. It is also very unlikely that you will compress the sensor while sleeping, which would result in compression lows, unless you sleep on the belly. So when I compare accuracy of the chest readings with uh, upper thigh and upper arm, which we know received a very good result, I don't actually see any significant differences. And that is why I would give chest 8 out of 10 points for accuracy. Moving on to category number 3 which is durability and how long does the sensor last. Similar to thigh, I have not knocked out my sensor from the chest yet and I have to say I find this location very very safe. I don't catch on with my clothes on the sensor when I'm getting dressed and undressed and it's actually much better than the upper arm or even the thigh. Ladies, please comment below if you see this differently, if your bra straps or any other piece of clothing that you wear catch onto the sensor when it is placed in your chest. Personally, I was extremely happy with the durability in chest and that's why I give chest 10 out of 10 points for durability. Category number four is comfort. And again, I was very happy with the placement in the chest. It didn't bother me at all. And when I took the sensor out, I actually was still trying to scan my chest, although the sensor was not there anymore. So a uh, very good location and I got used to it very fast. It is very easy to scan from the chest and super discreet. When you scan with your phone, even while talking to someone, it does not look weird at all. 
you can quickly check the screen and I guarantee they will not even notice that you checked your blood sugar. Chest is a very good place when you want to hide your sensor, especially when you're wearing a dark t-shirt or a dark shirt. Only in situation when you're wearing white and a very thin shirt, the white button of the sensor might shine through a little bit. And because of the all positive points I just mentioned, I give chest 9 out of 10 points for comfort. You can probably tell that I was overall extremely happy about the chest location. It provided me very durable and very comfortable alternative to upper arm and upper thigh. You see that in total the chest received 36 points, which is the highest score so far. 4 points better than upper arm and 1 point better than the thigh. But you have to decide for yourself based on your lifestyle and your personal preference. Please keep in mind that no other locations than upper arm are certified by Abbott and if you use any other location it is at your own risk. I'm not a doctor and my videos are not medical advice. I'm just a type 1 diabetic sharing his experience, so please be responsible. If you want to learn about other alternative locations for your sensor, please check the video on the screen now. In the next video I will be talking about the sensor placement in the abdominal area, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. I will see you in the next type 1 talks video. Ciao!